As students, it's pretty safe to say that we spend a lot of time on our computers. And while we're in computers, we either spend that on specific apps or browsing the web. But when it comes to browsing the web, something that we probably do aimlessly, we can actually make the machines do a lot of the work for us. Some of this work that I'm talking about could be providing a service to us as students or even possibly helping keep us on track so that we can get all of our work done. And a really easy way to get your computer browser to work for you is to add some extensions into your web browser. So in this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 web extensions that I use for getting work done fast, staying focused, saving money, saving time, and ultimately helping you with your productivity. All right, the very first extension that I'm gonna show you guys is called Momentum. And basically imagine it as Google search but better. So when you open up Momentum, it basically changes all of your new tabs to look like this. And basically what you're seeing is a really nice picture instead of, you know, the plain and bland Google search thing that really doesn't look good. But really this cool picture is just the start of what this web extension can do. Basically at the bottom right here, you see that you have a really inspirational quote, which is when I are meant to do what I do want, now. Yes, the come. conditions are already right. right. And yeah, basically every day, it just has a different quote that, you know, just gets you in a good mindset for getting work done. But the really nice thing that I like about this extension is this, what is your main focus for today? And basically what this is, is it gives you like a main goal for today to focus on. And that really sets the compass of your day. And it gives you like this one focal point of the things that you want to get done. So for example, I could say that filming this video is what I want to get done today. And once I'm done filming this video, I can check it off and it leaves it there crossed off so that you can see that you actually accomplished something today. And I don't know about you guys, but it is really nice to see that the one thing, the major thing, the most important thing that I want to get done today, I got it done and I got it crossed off my to-do list. The second extension that I use basically every day is called Blocksite. And basically what Blocksite does is it helps you manage your time by not getting distracted on websites. So let's say I want to block a website and let's say Netflix. And once I add Netflix to this blocked site, I can either set it to a schedule or I can have it blocked completely. So I'm going to, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to have it blocked every day. And now when I try to go onto Netflix to try and watch something, you're going to see that instead of going to Netflix, it's actually going to block me from accessing Netflix, saying that I've blocked it. And there's probably a good reason for that. And that is because of time management. And in case you really desperately need to watch a new Netflix show for some reason, you can always set a password to gain access back to that site. Usually I'll have this turned off, but sometimes you'll need to access it for some reasons, or maybe you have a free open spot that, you know, you can relax a little bit. So basically this is like time limits on iOS and it can restrict you during your set work times. So that way you can focus and get things done and not get distracted. All right, and the third extension that I use basically on a daily basis is Grammarly. And Grammarly is honestly the best tool for all things grammar and word check. And right here you can see Grammarly in action because whenever I'm writing huge pieces of formal text, I usually make a lot of mistakes. And this is a lifesaver, especially when you're under pressure and you don't have time to reread things. This is a comparative essay that I wrote during summer school. And as you can see, it's 11 pages long. And when you're under the pressure of having a time limit, you don't really reread things and check things over to the best of your ability. So Grammarly makes it really easy to check all of your work and check the spelling, grammar, basically anything you could imagine, Grammarly takes care of it. And as you can see in the corner, it tells you how many mistakes that you have left in your piece of work, as well as when you hover over, you know, a mistake that you may have made, it automatically checks it over and makes it grammatically correct. So this comes in really handy, especially if you're a student or anybody that writes a lot of formal text. And the fourth extension that I use basically every day is distraction free YouTube. And as you can see here on the YouTube homepage, you know, you have all these suggested videos that YouTube will put out towards you. However, if you're trying to get some serious work done, this can actually be pretty distracting. So if you toggle on distraction free YouTube, as you can see, it just gets rid of the entire YouTube homepage and it gets rid of all the suggested videos, but you can still watch videos on YouTube. This only gets rid of all the extra suggested videos and only keeps what you want to watch. This helps you not fall into any of those video rabbit holes and actually put some emphasis on supporting your creators by subscribing. 
And by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, you should consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. And the fifth, the best extension that basically everybody should have on their computers is an ad blocker. And as you can see here, like this website isn't even done loading yet because of how many ads are on this page. Ads not only cover up important things that you want to see distract you from what you're actually doing, but they actually slow down the website because it's so much more content that the website has to actually load in. And for me, I found that ad block is the best ad blocker for getting rid of all of this stuff. And already you can see that the website has loaded in way faster because there's just less of that junk that the website has to load in. And on the web extension store, there are a lot of ad blockers to choose from. And I found that ad block has been the best just because of its consistency. A lot of ad blockers will miss out on things and cut out things that you don't even want to cut out. While ad block has been the most consistent in getting rid of the things that you don't want and keeping the things that you do want. The next extension that I use every day is Dashlane. And what Dashlane is, is a password manager for you that not only creates really strong passwords that no hacker is ever gonna guess, but also auto fills in all of your information so that you don't have to constantly do it. The next extension that basically everybody should have is Honey because you know, being a student can be a little bit rough on your pockets. So when you wanna save a little bit of money shopping online, Honey comes in really handy, especially if you're looking for something online. As you can see here, when I open up Honey, it shows me some codes that already worked at checkout very, very recently. So you can bet that Honey is gonna find some codes for you so that you can reduce the price of things that you're buying online. And you already know, it's free money. All right, so this next extension is actually for the small content creators out there, and that is TubeBuddy. And TubeBuddy is really, really convenient. There's just so many features and different metrics that it gives you and so much stuff that helps you and your channel. First off, let's take a look at the keyword explorer. I could easily make the title of this video best Chrome extensions. But as you can see, even though this keyword is searched very often, it's a bad target because it's extremely competitive and hard to rank my videos for. So I should not make my title this because it's just going to be really hard to get my video out there. However, if I were just to make some small changes to my title, such as best Chrome extensions for students, then as you can see, I can actually rank for this title way more easier than just best Chrome extensions by itself. And obviously you can get way more detailed like this by like adding years, by doing different things to manipulate your title and ultimately get you the best title to find something that you could very easily rank for. And this is why with some of my personal videos, you'll see that I'm ranked up against people with millions and thousands of views. And then my videos are just in that list with hundreds of views. It's because of getting the right title and trying to rank for those things that I can actually rank for and capitalizing off that, I appear higher in the search rank. And this is just one of the many features that TubeBuddy has to offer you as a creator. There are also very important things to you like video stats over here. You can see different tags that people use and you can try and, you know, use some of those tags for yourself to try and again rank for those search terms. And finally, the most useful extension that I use on a daily basis is Video Speed Controller. Video Speed Controller is honestly the best way to save time, especially if you're somebody that likes consuming video content like me. But the thing that makes video speed controller different from all other YouTube speed video controllers or even the default one at that is the fact that it's not just limited to YouTube. It really does just handle all videos online, whether that be lectures, recorded notes, YouTube videos, and even Netflix movies. As you can see, I'm currently viewing this video at one time speed. However, a really easy way to save time is by using the keys D and S and R to change the speeds that you're viewing the video. And over time, you'll get accustomed to this. It'll become way easier to listen to things and consume more content at higher speeds. But this is a really easy way to save time because you can quickly speed up the video a bunch. And as you can see already, I'm at 2.3 times speed. And if I want to toggle back to one time speed because something important has come up, then I can easily change by clicking R and just going back to regular speed. And this makes it really convenient, especially when you're, you know, listening to lectures and it's really simple things that you understand. You can just speed through those. Or if it's something that you need to, you know, maybe take it a little bit slower, you can literally do that by just setting the speed back to normal. And this has saved me so much time because I spend less time on YouTube videos because I just 
watch the videos faster. Regardless of whether or not you've already known about these extensions, having any one of these added to your web browser could not only boost your productivity, but it could also save you a lot of time and even possibly money. Having all of these extensions combined for my use has really helped me get a lot done. And if there's any extensions that I've missed out on or that you use personally, make sure to leave them down in the comments so that I could check them out. Also, if you want to know why I used Chrome instead of Safari during this entire video, I really recommend that you check out this video so that you know exactly why. And there are my top extensions for productivity and school and hopefully they add a lot of value to you just as they have to me. And just like these extensions could provide you a lot of value, if this video has provided you any value it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. I'm Matt and thanks for watching.